and welcome to my new video. Now today we discuss about the solution of system of linear equation. If we have some system of linear equation or we can say simultaneous equation for two variable, three variable, then how we solve this. For solving this, we have different different types of method. First, some direct method. First is the matrix inversion method. That is, we have to know how to find the matrix inverse and we can convert into inverse matrix and we can find. Second is the Gauss elimination method. Third one is the Gauss Jordan method and there are some more. So we start with the first matrix inversion method. If we have any system of equation, we can say A11 x1 plus A12 x2 plus up to A1 and x n equal to B1 a21 x1 plus a22 x2 plus a2n xn equal to b2 so on up to am1 x1 plus am2 x2 mn xn equal to bn. So if we have given this system of linear equation with the m and n variables so how to find first we to change this into uh, matrix form you already studied how to write the matrix form a x equal to b a is the matrix of all constant with variables so a is the matrix of a1 a2 a3 a11 a12 a13 a14 and so on x is the matrix of variable b is the matrix of b1 b2 means right hand side so our if i want to write a a is a11 12 up to 1 and a21 22 2n m1 m2 up to mn similarly x is our matrix of x1 x2 up to xn and b is the matrix of b1 b2 up to vn so this is the matrix arrangement of given linear pair of linear equation next how to find out the values of this x1, x2, these variables. That is very simple. With the help of matrix inversion method, we just write A x equal to B is the our given matrix arrangement. If we multiply both the side with the inverse matrix of A. So A inverse multiply with AX also multiply with B. So we all know A inverse into A given the unit matrix. That is we in simple if it is not the matrix and not linear equation then it will be 1. In case of matrix we can say it is unit matrix. So IX equal to A inverse B or we can say value of X is given by this so just it is called matrix inversion method first we have to find the inverse of the given matrix a and then just multiply with b we will get the so values of the all variables for any inverse matrix you all know for inverse matrix we need two values first is the determinant of the given matrix second is the adjoint of the given matrix so if inverse of a is adjoint a divided by determinant of a so i skip that part how to find how to derive adjoint and determinant i just solve very simple one question here next step we have to find the a inverse our a inverse is adjoint of a divided by determinant of a so determinant of a of given matrix is minus 4 and adjoint is i write here 1 by minus 4 or we can say plus 4 because it adjoint we are just minus 5 1 minus 5 3 1 1 1 minus so this is the a inverse of 
given a. When you derive the a inverse, just we can say a inverse a x equal to a inverse of b. So x equal to a inverse of b. Clear? x is x y z is equal to a inverse into b. When we multiply this with b, then it will get the value 1 by 4, 4, 0, 0. Or simplify it. 1 by 4 when entered here, 1, 0 and 0. So with this, we will get the values of variable x, y, z, x, y, z, x given by 1, y given by 0, z given. So x is 1, y is 0, z is 0 is the solution of given equation. This is the method called matrix inversion method. Next is the Gauss elimination method. That is also you studied in the previous class. Very simple method. Gauss elimination. Just two things you have to remember. You know how to proceed the row transformation and second First given equation is arranged into augmented form. Augmented form is the matrix if given into Ax equal to B. So it's augmented arrangement. Is A dash we can say B or we can say A double dot B. So this is the obvious one side A and one column will be included that is called B. This is called augmented arrangement. First we arrange into this and then given matrix reduce into upper triangular matrix. When we reduce into upper triangular matrix means this have a value. There all elements are 0. This is called upper triangular matrix. With the help of this we can simplify and find the values of given variable. So now I will proceed with one example. So you can easily know how to solve with the Gauss elimination method. To solve this set of equation with the help of Gauss elimination method. So step 1 we arrange this into a dot b means augmented form first you have to find all three matrix a x and b so a x and b a is 2 4 minus 6 1 5 3 1 3 2 x is x1 x2 x3 b is minus 4 10 and 5 i direct write the augmented matrix Augmented arrangement. Augmented arrangement is A matrix 2, 4, minus 6, 1, 5, 3, 1, 3, 2. Then B, our B matrix. B is minus 4, 10 and 5. So we have to remember that what, there are now 3 rows. What operation we can go for this row? This element also operate with the same operation. Here also if we apply any operation on this row, this also apply the same operation. So now we reduce into upper triangular matrix. So for upper triangular matrix, we put, we have to reduce all these three values into zero. Below the diagonal all goes zero. So below the diagonal this. So step one for R2, Either we find the power row, power row or we can say R2 operation is R1 minus 2 R2. See, if we multiply R2 with 2 and minus with this, it will become 0. Similarly for R3, same because here is also 1 and so R1 minus 2 R3. Multiply R3 with 2 and then subtract it. So our next matrix becomes row 1 is as it is. So next our these two elements go 0. One more operation for row we have to remove this. This becomes 0 with the help of this. Our pivot row is this. So with the help of this I remove 
this or make this equal to 0. So my operation next will become for here I can say uh, in R3 say we can say 3 2 the 6. So 3 R3 minus R2. So 3 R3 is minus of 6 minus minus plus 6 becomes 0. So the next becomes row 1 and row 2 is as it is 2 4 minus 6 minus 4 0 minus 6 minus 12 minus 24 and then 0 minus 0 0. Yes. Now we can see it will be reduced in the upper triangular matrix. With this upper triangular matrix now we again write in the equation form. Our equation form is 2x plus 4 x1 x2 x3 or yes 2x1 plus 4 x2 minus 6 s3 is equal to minus 4 minus 6 x2 minus 12 x3 equal to minus 24 and minus 18 x3 equal to minus 18 so with the help of third equation we can say x3 is equal to 1 when x3 equal to 1, we can substitute first simplify here. 6 taking outside, minus taking outside. So, x2 plus x3 equal to 4. And then put x3 equal to 1. It will give x2 equal to 2. x2 equal to 2. And x2 and x3 substitute in equation 1. x1 become minus of 3. Hence, the solution of given equation by the Gauss elimination method. For Gauss elimination method, only two things. First, arrange given equation in augmented form. Second, we have to apply the row operation only to make the given equation into upper triangular matrix. Upper triangular matrix means below the diagonal, we can make all is 0. So, we make these all are 0 below the diagonal and then solve it. That's all for Gauss elimination method. Thank you very much.